Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Recently we got a really interesting question from one of our viewers who wanted to know what a mix between a Belgian Terrier and, and a Belgian Malinois would look like. And it's a, it's a great question so I thought I'd make a video about that. So what would happen if Rancho had puppies with a female Malinois? I'll tell you in a bit, but first we need to see how the breed originated. There's a lot of confusion over the terminology. Is the Belgian Shepherd a breed or is it four separate breeds? So let me explain. So in Belgium, which is their country of origin, and also in most countries in the world, the Belgian Shepherd is considered one breed with four varieties. And they only differ in their coats and a bit superficially in appearance. Uh, they may also vary in temperament and energy levels depending on the line that they come from. So working lines are much more high drive than show lines. And these four varieties are the Malinois, the Treviran, the Gronendale, and the Lacanois. And they are genetically related and it's mainly the coat and its color that makes them different. But there are a few countries in the world, like the United States or New Zealand, where these four varieties are not recognized as just varieties, but they're considered four separate breeds. But you can easily prove that these four varieties are genetically very closely related by the fact that from the crossing of two dogs of the same variety, it is possible to get puppies of a different variety. And many of the countries that recognize the Belgian Shepherd as one breed also allow so-called inter-variety matings. It basically means that with the permission of the respective club, you can breed Belgians of two different varieties. And the breeders who decide to do this need to have strong arguments for doing so, because inter-variety breeding should be done to expand genetic diversity and to promote health. And the combinations that are allowed are the Gronendale with a Tervuren, which is a very common combination. So what happens is that in the first generation, when a pure Gronendale is mated with a Tervuren, all the puppies will be black and they will carry the Tervuren gene, which here is marked by a red T. And under certain circumstances, those individuals will be able to produce Tervuren puppies in the future. The so-called Tervuren gene is the reason why sometimes two Gronendales can produce Tervuren puppies. But please know that this is a super simplistic explanation. I'm not an expert on genetics, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how this works. Here are some examples of such meetings. As you can see in the first two cases, the litters are mixed. And in the last litter between a working line Tervuren and a Gronendale female, uh, all the pups are black. It's because the female is a pure Gronendale and does not carry the Tervuren gene. I can show you pictures of Rancho's Gronendale ancestors. We're lucky to have access to a very detailed database of Belgian Shepherds where I can track Rancho's ancestry all the way back to the 1940s and many of them with photos. So, so here you can take a look. The next combination that is allowed is the Tervuren with the Malinois, which is not as common, but still happens every now and then. And in the first generation, the puppies will all be Malinois. And the Mals from such matings will carry the Tervuren gene. And in the following generation, the gene will be expressed and some of the puppies will have a long coat. So this brings us to the question, if Rancho had puppies with a female Malinois, all of the pups would most likely be Malinois. But then if those Mal puppies were bred in the future, a certain percentage of those puppies would be born with a long coat. For example, this is a female Tervuren whose both parents are Malinois. It's because one of her ancestors was a Tervuren and one of her Malinois parents carry the so-called Tervuren gene. And that's also why sometimes after many, many generations two Malinois will produce a Tervuren puppy. For example, this dog is a Tervuren girl that was born in a litter of Mals and she's now registered as a Tervuren. And these Tervuren pups born to two Malinois after many pure Malinois generations may have shorter coats than a typical show line Tervuren would have, but they are still registered as Tervurens. But if this happens in the US, the American Kennel Club still registers this dog as a Malinois, 
even though it has a long coat and is actually a Tervuren. Clearly, for the AKC, there are two completely different breeds, so it's the same as if a Doberman was born to Rottweiler parents. And such a dog can't compete in AKC dog shows, and no matter how wonderful they are and how much they could contribute to the genetic diversity of the breed, the dog can never be shown and cannot be bred to another Tervuren, at least not officially. And the same thing happens with Tervuren puppies born to two Gronin Dales. They cannot be registered as Tervurens. Whereas in Europe, Canada or Australia, such a puppy is registered according to its variety. And what's interesting to note is that the First World War was a real disaster for the Tervuren. And at the end of the war, there were only 27 Tervurens left. And it was only through inter-variety breeding with the Gronendale and the Malinois that the Tervuren variety was able to recover and become what we have today. And the last combination that is allowed is the Lacanois with the Malinois. And from what I have heard, for the Lacanois intervariety breeding with the Malinois is essential to maintain the correct coat. And also because of the limited gene pool of the Lacanois, breeders all around the world are using the Malinois to ensure the quality of their breeding programs. And breeders in the US can do that and they're forced to import dogs from other countries. And here's a picture of two dogs that come from the same litter. One is a Malinois and the other one is a Lacanois. And the FCI actually encourages interbreeding between varieties for promoting health and genetic diversity. However, there are three combinations that are not allowed and they are the Lacanois or the Tervuren because they would produce a rough coated Tervuren the Malinois with the Gronendale because they would produce a black Malinois and the Lacanois with the Gronendale because they would produce a black Lacanois and all of these color code combinations are not acceptable by the breed standard. So yeah that would be all. Uh, I thought to be able to answer the Tervuren Malinois question I needed to dig a little deeper into the genetics of the breed and explain to you how it all works. As I said, I'm by no means an expert on the topic. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. And you could also tell us what you think of it. Do you think they should be one breed or four breeds? I personally think it's always beneficial to have a broader gene pool and with the Belgian Shepherd we're lucky to have this amazing opportunity. And when it's done well, intervariety breeding can be very valuable for the breed, in my opinion. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and click on that little bell icon so that you're notified every time we post a new video. And we will see you next time.